Michelle Lewis of FM 100 here at the Memphis Zoo on Penguin Rock. Never thought I'd say that ever in my life. And I am with one of the main zookeepers, but specifically she loves penguins, is here five days a week. Erin, how are you? I'm doing all right. How about you? I'm doing great. And we have Dora here, mm -hmm. who is being such a good sport. <laughs> And um, I just kind of want to give an overview because I feel like there's so many things about penguins that you can learn, mm -hmm. especially here at this zoo. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Penguin Rock? All right, so out here at Penguin Rock, we actually have 26 African penguins. Uh, this is Dora. She's one of our younger penguins. She's only about two years old. So she was hatched out here at the zoo and her parents are out here as well. She has half siblings and things like that. <laughs> so she is one of the few that we can handle and actually use for presentations. We take them to birthday parties, things like that. Oh, and uh, birthday parties. <laughs> the reason we do are able to do that is because we hand raise all of our babies from the time they're two weeks old. So we do put colored bands on them to make sure we can tell them all apart. And doors happens to be black and yellow. Oh, how cute. So uh, these guys are, their personality is a lot like a house cat. So anything shiny, anything they can get their, their beak on and play with. Uh, we love to come out here and blow bubbles for them or no. use a laser pointer, you know, they have a lot of fun with that. So that's not cruel, they enjoy it? They enjoy it. Oh, we actually cool. call it enrichment. Oh. So anything that you can do to elicit some sort of natural behavior from these guys is called enrichment. How cool! So, let me ask you this. What's the coolest thing you would say that there is to know about penguins that most people wouldn't know? Most people, when they come here, they see the signs or they see the penguins out here in the warm weather and they think, aren't they too hot? <laughs> and so I tell them, no, these guys are fully African penguins. They come completely from the warm weather in South Africa. And so here in Memphis, they actually do quite well in our warm climate. Oh, wow. There are 18 different species of penguins in the world. So only seven of them swim in the cold Antarctic waters. Only, only seven of the 18? Only seven of 18. Oh, wow. And only five of those seven live actually on Antarctica itself. Oh, that's really cool. I never knew that. Now, i got to ask you this. This is a once-in-a-lifetime experience <laughs> for me. The odds are I'm never going to do this again. Is there an appropriate way to pet Dora so I can say that I pet a penguin without her freaking out? Sure. I'm just going to lift her up because she's getting a little antsy there. Okay. And uh, I'm going to hold her just like this if you want to take your fingers right down her back. Okay. Oh, she's so smooth. Yep, so oh. they actually have oil they put on their feathers, and that's what keeps them waterproof. Oh, wow. And I want to say thank you to you, Dora, because, of course, I'm here for my Help Me Meet JT campaign. And Justin, Dora is dressed in her suit and tie for you, just like I am dressed in my suit and tie. And we not only have humans on this campaign now, we have penguins. So I want to say special thanks to Dora. And I want to say special thanks to you, Erin, and the Memphis Zoo for getting on board. And Justin, seriously, look at Dora. She wants you to call me. She's telling me. We have like a tele... We've, we've got something going on here. So definitely, if you can't say yes for me, say yes for Dora. Boyfriend. You want to put the hat on to match the bow tie? I don't think that fits you. Thanks, kids. You're the bestest. Oh, okay, that's my shoe. That's my shoe. <laughs> they like shoes. Or hate shoes. I don't know which. I don't know what to do.